Hey everybody out there, Reaper Nation's Rob Bellin. How's everybody doing? Well today I'm going to show you guys something really quick. I got everything prepped. I'm filming on how to bleach a skull. And right here I got a, a skull from a Barbado. A Barbado is a sheep from Barbados. Got a couple years ago and this is one I found while we were out there hunting. So, let's start it off with first you got to have a skull or something you want to bleach. And then what you want to do is air it all out, clean it the best you can every which way. I air out all the debris, pull everything out of it, and then I take it in, I wash it, soap and water, you can clean it, and you can use Clorox too, Clorox bleach to clean it out and disinfect it, it works really well. Then after that I air dry it with, uh, again, with the uh, air compressor, and let it sit out in the sun so that it uh, dries really well. This one's ready to go and prep. Then I carry, as you guys can see right here, I'm just only showing you guys this real quick, hope you can see that, this is what I use. And it's a peroxide from a uh, beauty store. And I walk in and the first thing I ask them is, hey, how can I get beautiful? And everybody laughs, because that is funny. Anyways, so today I was actually out here filming to do this for a deer skull. And I figured I'd throw a little extra in there. Well, what I do is I pour some in here. Now, you can let this thing soak for a couple days in a container such as this. But I do it a different way. These are the results you can get right here. By the way, I'm about to show you. So the cool thing is, so what you want, you want to have a skull, a container, and of course your other stuff. And I have the container just so it holds all the leftover juices here that I'm going to have from this peroxide. Now I use 40. You can get up to 50 that I know of. But uh, I use 40. And now one of the things you want to be careful of is the horns. Because if this gets on the horns, it's going to bleach them as well. So these horns, I actually don't want to get bleached out. So I'm going to be careful with them at the base. Now if you really want to get down to it, what you can do is you can tape up around the base. Be done with it. But I'm just, this skull's not bad. And I don't want the interior to be, you know, it doesn't need to be all whited out crazy. I'm just doing a really basic bleaching of this skull. So when it sits there and you see it, this is what it looks like. The worst part's in the back. So I'm just going to bleach out the best I can, being very careful around those antlers, or these horns actually, these are horns. And I just want to be kind of careful that I don't want to bleach them out and make it look sloppy. Get down here in the teeth area. And if you get some on your antlers, then you just got to get a rag, which I'll show you here in a second. And this is why I use a container, because I can keep, uh, I keep using this over and over. And I've already done like three or four skulls today. <laughs> so that's how many takes it takes. But some of them I found, I did a moose jawbone, did some cool stuff. That's what we do here at Reaper Outdoors, folks. This is my Saturday afternoon. And uh, anyways, there you have it. So if I got a little bit on those antlers, I'll take a little rag. Or these are horns, sorry, I keep saying antlers. And I will take it off of there. That'll be okay, I didn't get too bad. Then the trick, right here, saran wrap. So you're gonna tie this thing up like a baby, like a diaper. So a little wind out here not too bad though first thing about that I don't like about saran wrap is the fact that when you have wind saran wrap so light anyways here, whoo, I got some on my horns that I didn't want to get on it's all right though take care of that so I'm gonna pull this down right by the horns tuck it over on that side I'm gonna do the same thing over here tuck it in so it doesn't get on my horns And then I'm going to wrap this boy up. Just a the butt. Twist it. There we go. So now, I've got protected antlers or horns. The best I can protect them anyway. And a lot of people ask, why do you saran wrap it? Well, saran wrap, keeps one, keeps it in. Two, I've got moisture that I want to keep in this thing. And 
I want this all to uh, get heated up in the sun today. So that sun will beat down in here and heat that up. These antlers will get nice. So if you get any on your antlers, make sure you wash it off right away. Check your antlers. And that's it. Just stay up with us if you want to see the results of this. Barbado from Barbados. Bam! I'm going to put this out in the sun. I might leave this out for a couple days so you never know when you're going to see it again, folks. Reaper01 from Reaper Outdoors. Ron Bellin. Guess what? If you want to be part of Reaper Nation, go to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and ReaperOutdoors.com. Become part of Reaper Nation. Interact with us. Ask us questions. Whatever you want. Right there's a tip. How to bleach out make your own European mount. Reaper Zero One.